controversy potentially on the horizon. Ooh. San Francisco 49ers have another wide receiver who wants big money. Here's John Lynch definitely giving us an answer that we can decide what the hell is happening, Ron. And before, you know, questions, um, you know, I know uh, a couple years ago there was a lot of talk about another receiver, Debo, and I said the same thing, but with uh, B.A., you know, B.A., I've, I've communicated on a couple occasions, on many occasions, our wish, and our wish is that he's here and a part of uh, uh, the Niners for the rest of his career. Okay. Um, you know, we're working through that, and, um, mm. you know, as such, you know, I was a player once, and I never liked my business being out in the public, and so I'm going to respect that. I'm not going to speak for their side. I can say we're having good talks, and I'm just going to leave it at that, and we'll focus on the draft here today. Um, but that's, that's yeah, so don't ask me any questions. Okay? I understand I you just, guys have a job to do and respect that, but um, that's kind of the tone I'm going to take there. So. Uh, uh, my tone is this. Here's my answer, okay, about Brandon Ayuk. Mm -hmm. We're having talks. I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody. I'd like him to be a Niner forever. How do you think it's going? Because at one point of that answer, I'm like, oh, they're in discussions right now. This deal might be done. There might be a deal coming soon. And then also, like, wait a minute. Is this gonna... That was a great answer by John Lynch in the I can't say shit, but I have to give an answer business that is GMs and press conferences around this time of year, AJ. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm trying to decipher exactly, like, how much progress they may have, how, how close they could possibly be to a new deal. Because, yeah, John Lynch understands. He's been a player. He's, he's been in contract situations like that. But as a GM, you know you can't keep everybody, so you got to figure out how much it's going to be against the cap, all of that situation, and what's most likely going to happen. Is something going to happen on a Thursday night? Uh, who knows, dude? Literally, there is zero indications of anything, which is why they've played this so close to the vest. I mean, Ayuk, I think we've learned from his actions. You know, you unfollowed the 49ers on oh, his Instagram. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, he took photos mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. He's not happy. He broke up with them. Still in a contract, but he broke up with them. It's like, same thing did happen with Debo a couple years back. And we didn't know how the future was going to look between the Niners and Debo. And Debo is still walking out first with the bump box mm -hmm. whenever they're coming out for every game because they were able to get a deal done. I think Lynch is in a situation where he has so many weapons, so many great players, has to make a decision, has to negotiate on that base because you're only allowed to spend so much money. But Ayuk's the number one in a lot of places. I can see there being a lot of interest for B.A. around the league, especially as we lead up to this particular NFL draft. Well, that's why him referencing, like, the Debo thing. Like, absolutely, that was a situation they had to pay him, but that was before, like, they paid anybody over there. Like, Ayuk could be the second guy that they'd be paying there. They already paid Kittle. The Purdy contract has to be looming, too. Like, that's one more year, and then they have to pay him what? The defense, too. Upwards of 200 Yeah, and then the defense that they all had to pay. Like, I get the Debo situation. As a Patriots fan who wants – Ayuk to be traded, it, I kind of got the feeling that they, he wasn't going to be traded from John Lynch, that they are going to get a deal done because of the salary cap gymnastics you can do. But the situations are completely different, right, because of the fact that that QB contract is coming. And when they paid Debo, there wasn't a sense of like, hey, we got to reset the quarterback market soon here. What are they saying about the wide receiver in this draft class? Deep. Deep. Right? Very. So I would assume no moves will be made until after the draft for Brandon Ayuk because some team who maybe thought they were going to get somebody or missed out on somebody, maybe they're still with a hole that needs to be filled if he was to be moved. And then maybe, hey, maybe we do get an announcement going into draft night. An Ayuk deal yeah. gets yeah. done. But you know, it, it, that from his answer right there, I could see it going both directions very easily, which is why I'm sure he's pretty pumped up that he gave it and then said, I'm not answering any more questions as we move To forward. your point about after the draft, too, I feel like we're always surprised what these guys go for. Like, right now people are thinking it's it's got to be a one, but it could be a day two trade, like where the, some team thought they were going to get one of these wide receivers in the first round. They're all gone, didn't get them. Could be a day two trade. Like, we have no idea at all because we're always surprised at how little these guys actually get traded. Yeah, because he's coming to the Colts, right? Brandon Ayuk. Well, probably not. But, like, oh, yeah. to Tony's point, like, Sneed. Like, Sneed was the, what, one of the number one or to, at least yeah. top three, you know, free agent or guys available after he got tagged. And he got traded for a second and a fifth. Mm -hmm. And it was like, how the hell is that what he's going for when he's coming off a uh, first team all pro season? Randy Moss was a force. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. Everybody forgets. Can you pay Ayuk to be a one, though? He obviously wants. Devontae was a two, right? Wide receiver won money. I don't know if the Niners can. Especially How does it affect the rest of your roster hey, and all the other contracts you have looming on the horizon and all the money you have, you're already paying the guy? But with the rookie quarterback, you can pay more people, especially if it's pick whatever, 292. When do they have to pay him? When do they have to pay Brock? Two years. Yeah. So they can give oh, him so yeah. a front-loaded two-year deal. I, I mean, that's yeah. what I was trying to think about. Like, 
Can the Niners make it? They have money everywhere, though. They have like the second or highest paid person at like six different yeah. positions. Yeah. Remember, we've seen the oh, graphic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's why people kill Brock Purdy. But it's like Brock Purdy is the reason why they can do that. That is yeah. a, a pretty vital part of the entire process. So they can front load that thing, maybe, and get a deal done with Ayuk that will satisfy what he's looking for. They could for sure, probably. And we always talk about <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the reason why we're so excited. I mean, the Steelers are paying their quarterbacks, I think, a total of six million dollars this mm -hmm. year, and I think the Patriots are currently paying eight before the rookie. A potential rookie comes on. So, yeah, if you're in a situation where you're not paying your quarterback that much, you could definitely afford it.